There's a bunch of places online talking about what you need to eat before you die in LA, but we're here to taste them all and tell you what you need to eat, or if you could just die on Eat or Die. Today's item on the list took us into the heart of downtown LA, somewhere near the Jewelry District, but not quite in Skid Row. Today we stopped by the Nickel Diner. The Nickel Diner is most known for its take on classic diner food with an emphasis on over-the-top donuts. So there's all of those to choose from, but there's only one of them that's on our list, and that's this guy. The Maple Bacon Donut. Look at that. It is a ring of glorious dough covered in delicious bacon bits, and what I'm only going to assume to be liquid happiness. But before we bite it, let's check to see if the Nickel Diner earned any bonus points. To get my bonus point, I need to be impressed by the overall dining experience. Although I appreciate its World War II throwback vibe, I did not enjoy the atmosphere. From walking past a homeless camp and then being greeted by a server who clearly hated me, I did not enjoy my time. Okay, and then to get my bonus point, you've got to be unique. And I'm sorry to say, but we're not getting one here either. Because even though the Nickel Diner is considered to be the home of the Maple Bacon Donut, that donut has been buying a lot of summer homes apparently because you can get them anywhere. Um, but the real test is coming up next, and that's the taste test. Once again, Christy got first bite. I did. Overall, it wasn't bad, but I wasn't majorly impressed. My major disappointment was with the donut, not the toppings. The donut wasn't fresh, and it would have failed any topping. I mean, even bacon can't save the world. I gave it a six. Okay, and although Christie's not exactly the biggest sweets fan, I've got all of its albums, so this was right up my alley. And I've got to say, even though the toppings were spot on, just the right mix of sweet and salty, but the donut itself just was not cutting it for me. I don't know, maybe we caught it on a bad day, but it just didn't seem any better than the average donut. So, I'm gonna give it a seven. So let's count up those points. Christy gave it a six. And I wanted to give it more, but I settled on a seven. So which brings its total to? Unlucky 13. That's right, and with no bonus points to speak of, that means the maple bacon donut gets a die. That's right, if you are on your deathbed and you see a bright light, and you haven't had this donut yet, it's okay. You can just go. Go into the light. But if you don't die, we'll see you next time on Eat or Die. Eat or Die. Bye.